All right. Okay. Welcome, welcome. Today we're going to do 30 minutes, say 30 minutes of bottom workout, and it's going to be more low impact, but it's going to be still be good. So let's warm up a little bit. Let's take our hips, I mean our feet about hip width apart, and let's just start with a nice easy squat. So down and up, inhale and exhale, and just start to smile as you're doing it. Good. Breathe, press through the heels, squeeze those glutes as you come up, start to focus on your breath, inhale on your way down, exhale on your way up. Good, four more, here's four, three, you got it, two, hold this one down, just hold. Now bring that right heel up off of the mat and just do some pulses for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Right heel down, bring the left heel up. Eight pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take it down, bring it all the way up. Big inhale up. And as you exhale, hinge at your hips. Take yourself all the way down to your mat. Shake your head yes and no. Let your head hang heavy. And now start to walk your feet out wide and just start going side to side. Good. Get a nice stretch into the inner thighs. And you don't have to go deep, you're just going nice and easy. Good, four more. Here's four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Walk your feet in just a tad. Drop the hips. Place your elbows into the inner thighs. Open up nice and wide. Get a nice stretch. Good. And then gently take your hands up onto your thighs. And let's drop the left shoulder. Get a nice twist into the spine. Good. And back to center. On over to the other side. Good. Back to center, drop the left shoulder again. Let's do that one more time. Good, other side. Nice. And now back to center, let's do a couple of cat and cows. So inhale and exhale. Drop the belly, chin to the ceiling, and then arch your back. Gaze to your belly button. Beautiful. And then slowly start to roll your whole body up. Nice and easy. Good, take a nice big inhale all the way up. And exhale, take it down to the sides. Let's just do some little circles. Keep those knees in. Keep those knees bent, I mean, not in. <laughs> Good, breathe, breathe, core tight. For four, three, two. Good, let's switch directions. You got it. Breathe. For four, three, two, and one. Hold. Just take those arms up and down. Just warming up those shoulder joints. We are going to do some upper body and some lower body. Breathe. Good. Here's four, three, two, one. Hold it down. Good, let's take it in and out. So palms together, press it out, breathe. You got it. Core is tight, four more. Four, three, two, and one. Good. And gently just release those shoulders down. Shake it out. All right, we're gonna get it started. So let's go ahead and grab some weights. We're doing Tabata today. So we are gonna start with just some simple squats today. So it's up to you if you wanna do it with weights by your side, or if you just wanna do it without weights, it's your call. Eight sets of squats. All right, get ready. I am gonna use some weights, but it's up to you, core tight. Hip width apart, get ready, go. Down and up, inhale and exhale. 
Good. Stick the butt back, keep the chest up, press through the heels, and breathe. Inhale, exhale. Good. You got it. Press through the heels, keep the core tight, stop. One down, seven more to go. So we're just getting those buns nice and tight. I'll show you sideways, get ready, go. Here's number two, breathe. You got it. Keep that booty down, chest up, core is tight. Good, almost there, stop. Very good, two down, six to go. Always feel free to adjust, go. And by adjust, I mean you can use your weights or drop your weights. Breathe, tummy is tight, good. Keep those knees out towards your toes. Don't let your knees come in on your squat. Breathe, good. And stop, very nice. Three down, five to go. We got this. Get ready. Go. Core tight. Breathe. Breathe in, breathe out. You got it. Tummy is tight. Squeeze that booty, especially on the way up. Press through those heels. Stop. Very nice, halfway mark, four down, four to go. Get ready for number five. Go. Breathe. Good. Press through the heels. Squeeze the booty. You got it. Keep that chest up. Back is flat. Core is tight. Stop. Beautiful. All right. Number six coming up, go. We got this. Inhale and exhale. Good, squeeze that booty. Breathe. Good. Keep it going, press through the heels. Stop. Woo! Very good, that was six, we have two more to go. You're doing good. Smile through it. Go. Breathe. Yes, good. Tummy is tight. Squeeze the booty. Press through the heels. Core tight. Use your breath. And stop. Beautiful. One more set. Number eight coming up. Get ready, go. Last set. Nice, easy squats. And you focus on squeezing those glutes. And whether you're doing it with or without weights, you're still gonna feel it. Breathe. Focus on the muscles. And stop. Good. Very nice. Okay, we're going to do some shoulders now. So we're gonna move from lower body to upper body. So we're gonna switch it up a little bit. We're gonna start with just four sets of presses. Then we're gonna to go to four sets of curl and press, okay? So we have an eight set, we're just breaking it down into two movements. So let's start with presses first. Get ready, go. Knees are slightly bent. Breathe out on your way up, breathe in on your way down. Halfway down, so you're at a 90 degree angle and back up. Knees are slightly bent, core tight, tailbone tucked under. Breathe, good. And stop. One down, three, just like that to go. Get ready. Go, press, breathe out, breathe in. Good, 
keep that tailbone tucked under just a tad. Core is tight. Try not to rock the body. Use those shoulders. Good. Almost there. Breathe. And stop. Good. Two down, two to go like that. You can always go to one arm at a time as well. Get ready. Go. Press. So if you need to, feel free. One arm at a time. Or even go lighter or without weights. You're still working. Good. Breathe. Yes. Nice. And stop. Beautiful. Three down. One more to go like this. Then we switch to curl and press. Get ready. Go. You got to press it up. You can always do one arm at a time. Whatever works best for you. Breathe. Tummy tight, knees slightly bent. Good. You got it. Press all the way up. And stop. Good. Now we're going to curl and press. So it's going to be a hammer curl into a press. So thumbs up, get ready, knees bent. Curl, press it up. So you're keeping those elbows into your sides. So we're working the bicep and we're working the shoulder still. Good. A different position for the shoulder. Good. And stop. I'm going to go up a little bit higher on my weights for this one. You do what works good for you. Get ready. Go. Curl and press. Nice. Tummy is tight. Keep that tailbone tucked under. Good. Keep the body as straight as you can. Use those arm muscles. Breathe out. Breathe in. Stop. Good. Two down, two more to go like that. So this is basically six. We're going on number seven for our count of eight. Here we go. Very nice. Breathe. Good. Core tight. Keep those elbows into your sides. Breathe out on your way up. Breathe in on your way down. Good. You got it. And stop. Very nice. One more set of these. We got it. Get ready. Go. Three. Good. Squeeze those biceps. Press those arms up. Keep the elbows into the side. Yes. So good. Breathe. Almost there. Good. And stop. Beautiful. Okay. We are going to do a rear delt with a tricep kickback. So you want to do this with a light weight. Okay. You can have one foot forward, one foot back. Back stays flat. You're going to go out to the side, bring the elbow up, tricep kick back. Take it down, out to the side, elbow up, tricep kick back. We're doing four sets on one side, and then we're going to switch to the other side. Get ready. I am always sweating. I hope you are. <laughs> Get ready. Go. So rear down, elbow up, tricep kick back, and then all the way down, back up, elbow up, kick back. Good. So you're working the rear delt and the tricep. Good. And stop. Nice. That's one. If you need a chair, you can always do this too if it's easier for you. Just showing you different modifications. Breathe. Good. And on that tricep kickback, keep that elbow up nice and high. Get that arm back. Nice and controlled on both movements. And stop. So you have the option either with a chair or stool or something or by yourself standing. Number three, go. Good. 
Core tight, keep your back flat. Keep your neck in alignment with your spine, so don't let it go down or up, keep it in alignment. Squeeze, breathe, breathe, breathe. Core tight and stop. Good, one more on this side, and then we switch to the other arm. Get ready, core tight, go. Back flat, really squeeze that tricep. Squeeze the back of that shoulder. I'm feeling the burn. Hope you are. Breathe. Good. And stop. Woo! Very good. Other side. So switch the arms. The other foot comes forward. Get ready. Go. Keep those knees slightly bent. Keep your back nice and flat. Breathe. You got it. Core tight. Stop. Good. One down, three to go. So we're firming up those arms. Get ready. Number two. Go. Out to the side. Up. Kick back. Breathe. You got this. Tummy is tight. Good. Breathe. Stop. Two down. Two to go. You should be feeling it in those arms. Get ready. Go. Focus on the form. Keep the back flat. Keep the core tight. Watch the neck. Make sure it stays in alignment with your spine. Breathe. Focus on the arm muscles. Elbow high for that tricep kickback. And stop. Good. One more. Get ready. Go. Take it out to the side. Up. Kick it back. Breathe. You got it. Squeeze. Squeeze those muscles, keep the core tight, breathe through it. Whoops. And stop. Very nice. Good, good, good. Okay. So this next set of exercises, we're going to do either curtsy lunges or reverse lunges. Your call. So a curtsy lunge is out to the side out to the side. A reverse lunge, you're stepping straight back and then the other leg, okay? So your call, whichever one you wanna do, you could do it with or without weights. We're gonna do eight sets. So either curtsy lunges or reverse lunges. Here we go. Go. Take it down. And breathe. Good. Tummy nice and tight. So this first set, I'm showing you curtsy lunges. The second set, I'll show you reverse lunges. But you do whatever you feel and stop. So good. All right, set number two, either the same or switch it. So now I'm gonna show you the reverse lunge. Keep that tummy tight. Make sure you step far back enough so that your knee does not go past your toes. Your knee stays over the ankle. Stop. Very good. Two down, I'm going back to curtsy lunges. Get ready. Go. Core tight. Breathe. You got it. Very nice. Keep the chest up. Get the booty back there. Yes, stop. Very good. I'm gonna go back to lunges again. So I'm gonna go back and forth. Here we go. Tummy tight. 
reverse lunge. Nice and controlled. Always focus on your form. It's about the quality of the movement, not the quantity. Breathe. And stop. Very nice. That was three. Number four. I'm going back to curtsies. Get ready. Go. Going to start on the other leg this time. Keep that chest up. Butt is back. Core is tight. You got it. Breathe. Booty back. Squeeze that butt every time you go down and up. And stop. Beautiful. Halfway point, four down, four to go. Get ready. Let's go. Breathe. You got this. Inhale and exhale. Good. Keep it moving. Stop. Good. All right, number six coming up. Get ready. Here we go. You got this. Breathe in, breathe out. Squeeze that booty. On your way up. Good. Tummy tight. Good. And stop. So good. Two more to go. Number seven. Get ready. Oh, wait. This might actually be number eight. I always lose track. Breathe. Core tight, keep going. What is? Good, this is number eight, wow. Good, breathe. And stop. Yes, good. Those eight rounds went by quick, or eight sets, I should say. All right. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit more shoulder. This is gonna be a little different. So, left arm, right arm. They're going up and then you switch. Okay, so a forward raise and also a lateral side raise. So, you're gonna be working your brain at the same time because your arms are gonna be going different directions. All right, make sure your knees are planted, core tight. Go. So one arm, yes. Very nice. Good. Keep those knees slightly bent. Keep the core tight. Good. Breathe. Breathe out. Breathe in. And stop. We have seven more of those. You got the movement down, get ready, and go. Nice and controlled. Keep the knees bent, core is tight. Try not to rock the body. Make those shoulders do the work. Stay planted. Good. And stop. Beautiful, two down. All right, number three coming up, get ready. Here we go. Good, tummy is tight, looking good. Keep it moving, good. Keep a slight bend in the elbows. And stop. Good, three down. Oh, I've been sweating a lot lately, get ready. Go, here's number four. You got it. Elbows slightly bent, knees slightly bent, core is tight. Feel those shoulders. Good, breathe and stop. So good. 
Yay. Four down, four to go. Go. 10 seconds goes by quick. I hope you're feeling those shoulders. If at any time you need to go one arm at a time, feel free to switch that up. Good. And stop. Nice. So good, that was five. Get ready for number six. Go. Three. You got it. Core is tight. Beautiful. Nice. Nice and controlled. Good. Almost there. Stop. Yes. Two more to go. Get ready. Go. Making sure I was counting correctly. You got it nice and controlled, just to shoulder level. Controlled on the way up and on the way down. Keep those knees bent. You got it. Three. Stop. Good, we have one more to go. Doing so good, get ready, go. Last set of these, three. Good, very nice. Good, three, beautiful. Almost there, stop. Very good. You should start to feel those arms. Okay. Now what we're going to do is a tiny little kick back. So we're going to be here in our squat. We're just gonna stand up, kick back, kick back. Little squat, kick back, kick back, okay? Eight sets of those. So you're gonna feel the booty. Tiny squat with a little kickback. It's not a big kickback. Get ready, go. Squat, kick it back. You can hold one weight here, but I'd like you to get the movement. Good, breathe. Watch that lower back. You're not arching that lower back. You're squeezing that glute, squeezing the hamstring, good, one down. All right, here we go, seven more to go, you should feel the booty, here we go. Squat, kick back, squat. So it's a small movement. And the slower I go, the more I'm using those muscles. So don't go fast, make that glute. Make that glute and that hamstring do the work. You'll also feel the quads. Two down, here we go. Take it down. Number three, squeeze. Get that butt back on your squat. Three, inhale, exhale. Use the breath, keep the tummy tight. Good. Stop. Good, three down. I'm gonna face you to watch you more this time. Go, squat, kick it back. Good, squeeze that booty, so breathe out. Inhale on your way down, exhale as you come up. Good, you got it, breathe. And stop. Four down, you should be feeling that buttocks area. Get ready, go. Number five, squeeze. Nice and controlled. You got it, breathe in, breathe out. Good, yes. They're small movements, but boy, they make a big difference. Stop. 
thigh down. There you go. Smile through it. Get ready. Go. Squeeze. Breathe. You got it. Inhale and exhale. Tummy tight. Good. Watch that lower back. Stop. Six down, two to go. Here's number seven. Get ready, go. We can do this. Two more sets, nice and concentrated. Good, three, three. Squeeze that booty. You got it. And stop. Good, one more. Doing awesome today. Last set. Go. Take it down and squeeze. Good. You got it. Straight back. Squeeze that glute. Beautiful. Almost there. And stop. All right, so, so good. Let's come on down to the ground. Let's just come on down. Good. All right, so we're gonna do something a little easy. We're gonna go straight into tabletop. And I just want you to take the leg up and around and down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna strengthen and also stretch out to that hip flexor. So you start with the knee up, then twist the bottom of your foot to the ceiling, bring it back in. And then let's do it the opposite direction. Heel to the ceiling, knee up and back down, okay? So let's do five of those on each side. So you're gonna switch, let's do six. We're gonna switch directions each time, okay? So it comes up, one, two, three, four, you got it. Okay, so tabletop, keep the core nice and tight, press away from your mat. Here we go with the right leg, lift that right knee up, and now take that heel to the ceiling, bring the knee in, and now take it right back up, heel to the ceiling, Take the knee out to the side, bring it down. That's two. Bring it up, twist, and down. Good, kick it back out, twist, and down. That's four, just two more. Up, twist, and down. Back up, kick that heel up, twist the knee out, and down, release. Good, that's six. We're gonna do six on the other side, same exact motion, okay? Here we go. Take the knee up, twist, heel is up and down. That's one, press that heel up, knee comes out and in, that's two. Take it up, twist and down, that's three. Press up, knee up, down, that's four. Two more, here we go. Up, twist, and down. Last one, take that heel up, twist the knee out, and down. So good. Nice, I know those look easy, but those definitely, you feel those right in those hip flexors. And so let's just go side to side, take the legs out, or take the arms out. <sighs> side to side. So good, beautiful, nice. And then just press yourself back up into tabletop and let's just stretch out that leg. So take those toes down on that left side and just go back and forth, pressing that heel back and forth. So you're getting a good stretch into the back of your hamstring, your calf, the bottom of your foot, and we just did a lot of those squats with those little lifts. 
Good, switch it out. So switch your leg, do the same motion. So tuck those toes under and just go back and forth. Keep that leg straight. So you're feeling the stretch in the calf, hamstring and the bottom of the foot. Good. And release, bring it on down to your glutes. So good. So even with 30 minutes and we bring it down, you're still getting that heart rate up. I got a good sweat. So you're still doing work. So take a nice big inhale up. Good, exhale, bring hands to heart. Now let's just stretch out the arms a little bit. Inhale it up. Good, take the left arm down and take the right arm over. So keep that right shoulder open. You can gaze to the ceiling or you can gaze down or straight, whatever feels good for your neck. Just getting a nice stretch into your side body. And then inhale, bring it back up. Good, exhale, take it over to the other side. Get a nice side body stretch here, keeping that left shoulder open. Good. And inhale it back up. Big inhale, hands to heart. Bring it down as you exhale. So good, everyone. Thank you for joining. Awesome job. That was